Hello everyone, I am Invader ZA and welcome to my channel once again as this time I am bringing you a Stellaris video. Okay, now Stellaris is a game that just recently came out. It's by Paradox Interactive, uh, or I'm sorry, Par Paradox Development Studios. It says up in the upper right hand corner. Um, if I could learn to read, I'd be dangerous. Anyway, so it just recently came out this week. Um, put in a few hours into it, loving this game immensely. Loving, 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 loving this game. Uh, it has scratched every itch that I've had for a, a game recently. Like, I've just unsubscribed my World of Warcraft account because I know I'm going to be putting so many hours into Solaris. Um, also, live streaming it on the days that I can uh, at uh, twitch.tv. Uh, backslash invaders EA. Um, if anybody's interested in catching me there. Um, anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. I am going to create a new, uh, um, a new race in this and this opening uh, video. Uh, pretty much just kind of go over some of the finer points. I'm uh, going to load up my other game uh, just to kind of give you a brief overview of what's going on there. Um, this is the one, this is the second attempt at this game um, that I have been making. I am the Klaxus Empire. Uh, I've got some border gore. Uh, I was unfortunate enough to be uh, neighboring a uh, an empire that uh, had the same color as me. So you know, when I'm looking, at it, I was like, hey, I'm pretty bad. But no. anyway, so if as you can't tell, I'm doing ha I'm doing pretty good. I feel pretty confident in this in this particular game. Uh, I I feel like I've reached the middle ground. Um, so anyways, uh, they, the gist of this is, is come from a, a, come from a standpoint of power. Um, but when I first, my first game, I, I concentrated on trying to expand and explore and everything else. And I was almost immediately a, a had war declared on me by a much stronger empire and they mopped the floor with me, took me over, game over. Uh, then in, in this version I again was trying to balance that and I didn't quite have it out down pat and I had to you know do another attempt and you know go to an earlier save and I, you know, I feel like I'm doing better this time. Um, so anyways, um, back to the creating of a, um, of a new empire, um, let's go to new game, and I've actually, this is actually my second attempt at making a video, um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, we, uh, I'm going to delete this one, uh, I'm going to create new, create new empire, and first and foremost, we could go human, um, you know, uh, it's pretty standard. They're um, they're not bad. I haven't actually played them, but they're not bad. Okay, we're going to go with reptilian this time. Um, I what are you? You're turtles. Okay, we're gonna go with some ninja turtles. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I will. This uh, honestly, your um, that's more flavor. You know what you want to look like. It doesn't really matter what you know what skin you use. Uh, I I believe um, I haven't gotten far enough into it, but I believe you interact better with uh, species. Uh, like if you're a reptilian, you interact be better with other reptilians. Same thing for mammalians and arthropo arthropoids and avians and so on and so forth. I think that's just kind of like a bonus. But I'm not going to swear to it. Um, um, if some, please uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I would love to know. Um, but you know, anyways, it's it's kind of one of those deals of you know if you like it, reptilian one leader names no. Yeah, yeah, that sounds much better. Okay, we'll go with that one. Um, name list. Oh, I skipped that. My bad. Um, let's go with TMNT, if I could type, and the plural is turtles. Uh, turtles. 
Adjective. Turlet. No, turtle. <laughs> Unless we're in, yep, TM into A, hey, there we go. So anyways, nameless, traits, traits. Okay, we are going to be, okay, you start out with two traits points, you know, as kind of like, you know, pick whatever. And you can t pick a total of four, uh, four traits now if you want to there are some biggies in here like here is a four point very strong gives you army damage army damage plus 40 percent and minerals plus 10 percent wonderful thing uh venerable which leader life spans 120 years uh the leaders dying when they do is pretty annoying so but we are um i I'm, i personally feel like you know don't worry about it. Solitary, no. Let's go sedentary and non-adaptive because turtles, man. Turtles aren't very adaptive. Right? Right? <laughs> What's a great oh for food? Thrifty industrious. Let's go I got four points to use. I can use however I wanted. Uh go with talented and talented and do I want intelligent? I think I do. Where are you at? Do I not have it? Ability? No. Oh there it is. Right there in front of my face. Intelligent and talented. <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful combination, doesn't it? So, Ruler, uh, he's, she is going to be... None of that matters. All the clothes. See, none of that matters because I'm wearing a shell. Name. Let's go Rexir. Sure. Sounds good. Homeworld. They are going to be from a... Let's go Desert. Yeah. Desert and homeworld name. Uh, pff, does it matter? Yep, go. Absolutely. City appearance reptilian. Nice. Okay, so let's go. This. Okay. These things right here are the type of government you can choose from. The each one has a different thing. Now I've kind of gotten to favorite. Um, I've kind of been enjoying Science Directorate, mainly because it gives you an addition, er, additional research alternatives and the Empire Leader Capacity Plus One, um, which are pretty good in my opinion. Um, and not only that, but if you go material, uh, fanatic materialist, it gives you physical, you know, plus ten percent science. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, secondary, I am going to go with spiritualist this time. Uh, it's going to give me happiness plus five percent. Because why not? Right? Right. Okay. And oh wait, are they exclusive with each other? Huh. Okay. All right, well, apparently you can't go with materialist if you're going with a spiritualist, so... Absolutely. Oh, because they're opposite sides of the pop chart. Fantastic. I did not know that. Okay, so anyways, there's that. Empire name is going to be the TMNT Directorate. The flag is going to be... Paradox, absolutely. Just because. Let's go with dark green. Yeah, yeah. No, we ain't gonna go with paradox. Uh, let's go with domination and absolutely. It kind of looks like a Zerg flag. Just throwing that out there. Um, so yeah, I could, uh, I could literally spend 15 20 minutes you know alone just trying to pick out my flag so I'm not gonna do that uh, ships uh, starting weapons missiles because I 
that will come into play later. I don't know if anybody else has gone over that. I haven't watched everybody else's videos yet, but uh, range is good. So I will leave it up to you to kind of trial and error. But range is good when it comes uh, when it comes to that FTL warp travel because it's easier. Um, we are going to go with reptilian. I don't like that. That is like really bad. That looks like anyway. Maybe I'll like it more if I play it. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're gonna save it, and they're done. Okay. Uh, in the eon, since the first primitive TM Mean Tea communities uh, took shape amid the great dune seas of Ipico, our civilization has spread and prospered. Through scientific progress, we have managed to stamp out the superstitions that ruled the minds of our ancestors. As reason and rational thought spread among our people, the inefficient nation states that we had until then organized ourselves into were disbanded. Basically, you know, we become one. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna go with uh, tips only. All right, so this is our homeworld and the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at. Provides an By the way, I like that little robot. He's 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 very nice. He's very nice. Okay, so number one, let's look at where we are, our location in the galaxy, which is not bad actually. Um, we want to. Military fleets are used. Oh, shut up! I thought that. Well, anyway, all right, we are going to create new fleets, and then we are going to create another new fleet in there. All right, so and that gives that we go one, two, three. Okay, that takes us in three different directions. Uh, the first fleet you actually go to really does not matter. Uh, Here we see a visual representation of this planet's surface divided. You into are talking over top of me, sir, and you need to stop. Um, but anyway, so. These things come and in, in, uh, become important later, like the different uh, things here. Uh, really, with your initial starting zone, your energy is going to be a pain in the butt, but you need minerals. Minerals and energy both are become very important, but at the same point, you really don't want to waste it on different things. So. Alright, so which is I'm not going to worry about that right now. He's already got a scientist. Fantastic. Alright, where are you going? Where are you going? Let's send you here. And science, dude, you are going to survey that system. Construction, this is our construction so. ship, which is used to construct Oh, no, I don't have... No, I haven't. No, I'm, I screwed up. Okay, survey your home system first. Keyword. Key thought. Do that first. Desert planet, let's go. Alright, so anyways, we need research, and this is one of the things I really, really, really enjoy about this game. See how I got four here? That's based on the science director. Uh, so anyways, um, the solar panel network research speed. The solar panel network is cannot be argued against because it provides you with because you start your spaceports start out with modules, and this gives you a basically for the cost of 75 minerals, three energy credits for every planet you have that has a spaceport. That's hard to argue with, so I'm going to take that first. The second one, um, let's see, we got colony ship, which is almost you can't even be begin to, to say how important that is, so we'll go with that, and let's go with, yeah, the mining network, because that's, that's really important, you, again, you will need that, um, and anyways, let's go ahead and unpause this thing, and we'll see how we do. Now see if you click on your star thing, it shows. Oh well, here. See they have to escape the gravity well of the star in order to in order to be able to warp. Paradox did a really good job. Now you hear that 
amazing music. Oh, it's so great. It's so great. Okay. So, ship designer. Um, you have each one of these. Obviously, we start out the game. We can't really do too much. So, uh, what we are going to do is design a scout. This is going to actually be a scout. Now, we're not really too worried about weapons. And we don't really have too much, but once we get once we get it into the right thing, we are going to basically we're trying to get get it started. Yeah, see it says auto. So yeah. Alright. Now. Okay, see how there are this this green orb here is our borders and this these other things that's your star maps and you need to come down here you can continue on here now you can queue it up which is great so yeah see you can just continue on queuing it up but see, while he's in warp, you can't give him commands. Interesting. Okay. That was quick. So, yeah, I'll sit here and, and this the situational thing. Let's go. We are not going to worry about that. In the beginning. In the beginning. Okay. So, anyway, so that's the game, the beginning of the game in a nutshell. Um, anyway, I like it. it. And the game continues on and continues on and continues on. Um, you learn more about the aliens. You uh, do all these wonderful things. So, let's go back to the main menu. And thank you all so much for watching. I again, cannot recommend this game enough. If you're into this, or if if you're a fan of Paradox games and you were thinking, do I really want to play this game? Yes, yes, you do. If you if you like space exploration games, definitely want to pick this one up. If you um, if you're just looking for something to try, it's it's relatively inexpensive. It's forty bucks, you know, to pick up the game, you know, if get the collector's edition if you so feel like it, or not. It doesn't, you know, that's it's based on preference. Um, you know, hey, and until next time, you all have a wonderful day.